Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's me, Kam Tao from Amazonian Angelfish. And in today's video, we will be doing a Angelfish room tour. I know, all that I have is just Angelfish. I specialize in keeping and breeding the Angelfish, so not much different species going on here. Before we begin here, last video I started a free giveaway, and guess what guys, it's due now. This video will be the video that reveals who our winner is for the free giveaway here. Alright guys, so we will be using the random number generator that is found on Google here. And you guys are looking at my screen here. I have assigned each and every one of you guys a number on my YouTube comments along with the comments that are on my Facebook page because I did share the video into my Facebook page and, uh, you know, the, the comments are all over the place. But I did assign you guys a number here. And surprisingly, there was 36 people that has joined the free giveaway here. So a little bit description about the free giveaway that I'm going to give here. You have the option to select your fish of choice from the fish tank that you are seeing here. And your options are the koi angel fishes from Steve Rabicki here. And also fish that I have bred in the fish room here, um, my lineage, they are Black Ghost Veil, Pinoy Ghost Veil, Pinoy Ghost, or Black Ghost. And all of the black ones are recessive for blue. The fish that you will be receiving is free of charge. I will require you to reach out to me, give me your name and address so that I can ship the fish out to you. Alright guys, so I'm going to go ahead and click the generate button here. I'm going to click the generate number three times here just to make sure for everyone here that it is really random here. So on the third hit, it's going to be our winner for our free giveaway here. All right, guys, here we go. All right, that is number one click. Click number two. All right, really, really random here. We got number all the way to 36 and I think that's pretty random. All right, so lastly, this is our winner for our free giveaway. Number 30, congratulations. You've won the free giveaway here. Heska Van, you are the winner of our free giveaway here. However, I did check out your profile and unfortunately, this free giveaway are only for the people that resides within the United States of America. Um, that's mainly because I'm unable to ship outside of the United States of America. So I apologize for <laughs> not being able to ship out to you. Um, however, this means that we will move forward with the random number generator for the drawing for the next winner. And this upcoming person is the new winner of the free giveaway here so here we go i'm gonna go ahead and click on the generate button congratulations number 19 <laughs> you won the free giveaway here congratulations to clear box swimmers you are the winner of this free giveaway here. So go ahead and send me a message via Facebook Messenger with the name of the recipient that is going to be receiving the package along with your address. And, you know, don't be sad, you guys. <laughs> this is not going to be the last time that I do free giveaways. I do free giveaways once in a while once I hit a certain milestone in my social medias here. I am truly humbled for your support, and I truly appreciate it, guys. And yes, Clearbox Swimmers, I am subscribed to you. <laughs> Alright, guys, so for this video here, it's going to be a two-part video. This is part one. And after part one, there's also part two, which is released on the same day here. So if you guys have the time and if you guys are interested in my fish, go ahead and check out part two after this part right here. And in this video here, I am going to be doing a fish room tour along with all the updates that's going on in my fish room. And I'm going to be talking about what all of my breeding programs are along with all the fish that I have inside my fish tanks. So without further ado, let's get into the video.
Alright guys, so this is how the fish room looks like right now. And as you guys can see, it's, it looks rather messy. But <laughs> this is uh, the best that we can do here just to keep everything clean and, you know, the aisles free of clutter and whatever. But this is the fish room. It's, you know, it's a working fish room. It's breeding and keeping fish alive and doing all that stuff. Some fish tanks in here, as you guys can see, are dirtier than other fish tanks. And I try to do water change 50% on each and every single tank once per week here to do water changes for all these fish tanks here um, I spread it out throughout the week so I do like one or two fish tanks um, per day and I do daily water changes some tanks here as you guys can see will be a little bit dirtier than others some will be cleaner than others it just depends on the day and um, this is probably the second dirtiest tank that we have in here these are my keepers for the black um, ghost and some of these are black Pinoy some of these are black ghost and uh, as you guys can see there that guy's a ghost that guy's a ghost one of my stunners that guy is also a ghost as well <laughs> he just ate its own poop and these guys are growing pretty well these are a crossbreed between two different bloodlines. This guy is a Pinoy. And you guys can kind of see the blue greenish hint on him compared to the other ones. So that's what makes him a Pinoy. Um, he is double dose for uh, blue. And the others are recessive for blue. Yeah, so that's how they look like right now. That's what is in this fish tank in here. This one in here is another very dirty fish tank. And this is a 65 gallon on the bottom on top is the 40 gallon breeder and in here are My two angelfish here that I am trying to pair and breed together This is bully if you guys follow me and if you guys watch my YouTube videos this guy's used to be housed with another fish and it used to bully That fish a lot. So this name this fish's name is bully Initially, I thought it was a male, but turned out to be a female. It seems like she's about to lay in a few days here. Her abdomen is swollen and her breeding tube is a little bit dropped. And she is pecking on the slate there before I start filming. This is a Philippine Blue Smoky. And uh, she used to lay up there on the glass. And I placed this slate here as a balance to hold this slate up here. I clamped the slate here with a tank and put a suction down here to prevent the slippage of this slate here. I think I'm gonna do something else whenever I get a chance to do it. Just because this tank is a very, very tall tank. This is a 65. It's taller than the 40 breeder up there. I don't really like using these this tank right here as a breeder, but um, I didn't want to take this Rio Nene out of here just because he bred in here once. And uh, I'll show you guys a video clip here. The Nene and the Silver over there bred. They actually bred. I thought uh, he was just over there, but you can see the clutch of eggs over there with the Wiggler. It's on the glass. And the Nene is defending it. Oh, that's crazy, dude. He actually bred. <laughs> My first time breeding wild caught fish. That is so crazy. Look at the wigglers. That guy needs to get out of the way. I'm debating whether I should keep them or not. Maybe I should. <laughs> Just to see how they turn out to be. I know they're going to be silvers, but I don't know. I don't know if it's going to be worth the time. But he did breed, definitely. He did fertilize the eggs. Otherwise, who else would, you know? None of them in there is defending the area like he is. It's crazy. Now I know that he's willing to breed. I'm going to put him definitely with another female. Alright guys, I just want to show you guys here. I just turned on the lights. And it seems right there that... Oh no, don't attack it. No, don't attack it. You better... There you go. Oh my god, that was so scary, dude. No, no. No, don't attack it. You better defend the area. Oh no. Oh no, don't eat it. No! Oh my god, did I just catch that on film? Oh, dude. 
Oh, just like that, it's gone. Man. The real Nene bred, by the way. I wanted to show you guys that. Um, yeah, so he bred with her. And um, I think I'm going to do something here. I do want to breed the real Nene. And uh, that goes to show that in the community setting here with a whole bunch of angelfish in here um, the fish they definitely does not survive and uh, knowing that he did breed with her he was defending the territory with her over there the silver over there and man that happened all the time whenever I turn on the light and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and separate all of these fish I'm gonna keep the Rio Nene in here just because it is his tank and he is comfortable in breeding in here with the female over there so I'm gonna take out the female I'm gonna put in a, a new female in there one that I do want him to breed with and uh, after that happens I'm gonna go ahead and uh, take out the slate and try to save the babies the female is nice but she doesn't have any genes that's the thing with uh, this female here she's just a regular silver female that has been beat up in this fish tank here her gut is um her gut is protruding and everything there's like lesions all over her body she's been really defending the area so i'm gonna put her in a different spot um and put the rest of these guys in a different spot give the rio nene the whole 65 gallon fish tank here so that he can breed with a different female that has genes and uh well gene doesn't like genetic color so that uh, we can produce Rio Nene hybrids here. So yeah, really, really looking forward to this. I cannot believe that I caught, caught that on camera here, guys. That is so shocking. And man, they were doing such a good job. But I just wanted to show you guys. And uh, sooner or later, I know that that was gonna happen too. So I guess the, um, the sooner the better so that I can get these guys uh, the, get the female in here acclimating and everything and move these guys out to uh, a bigger tank I guess gonna go ahead and grab the female that I want and uh, that's Bully over there Bully was currently housed with uh, Bumblebee and uh, Bully here it turned out to be a female so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, breed the Rio Nene with Bully here Bully has very nice fins here besides the end part right there but you know that could be improved through breeding so that's why I'm breeding her with the Rio Nene here so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, catch her right now there she is in all her glory they'll be in there together and hopefully she lays eggs she laid like two weeks ago so this is the Nene here and this is how he looks like he has really nice long fins very beautiful fins and uh, because he bred once I just want to combine him with the most beautiful smoky that I have created in the fish room here so that in the future they can create more beautiful blue smoky with the real Nene wild bloodline here I think it'll be pretty epic of how the babies will turn out. But yeah, that's how he looks like. He's for sure fertilized some eggs in the past before in the clip that I show you guys. He is looking very nice. Alright, so I just want to showcase to you guys that this female here has laid eggs and I just turned on the lights. And obviously she's starting to eat her eggs. Along with the snail here, the snail is going up the eggs and chowing down on them over here is a batch over here i don't know why she would lay two batches of eggs and i don't know what's up with her i don't know why she would change position of laying her eggs instead of just laying it all over there but i guess she's also learning as well um, she feels more comfortable laying the eggs on the glass here and i don't think the male fertilized on the glass he likes to be more secluded over there at his corner over there so I think if anything these are the ones that are fertilized I'm gonna go ahead and pull the slate here and there's a lot of junk on the bottom of the slate there so I tend to like wash the slate with any junk it's more like poop 
that is going to be like on the slate. So there are some on here that has started to fungus. I'm going to go ahead and remove those once I get them into the tank here. And I already have prepared a five gallon tank with methylene blue over here. There we go. Now that's in there, I'm gonna go ahead and remove the fungus eggs with a pipette. Up here, these are my joy and pride of the fish room here. So these are my blue marble veils. And I'm very proud of these guys. They're looking really, really good. This guy right here in particular is my favorite because he has the glitter trait in him. If he would turn, no, he's being blocked by the other fish. Anyways, yeah, these guys are my joy and pride. Um, I've kept this bloodline for quite a while. I've been working with it. This is actually the first bloodline that I've worked with um, since the beginning of my journey in keeping angelfish here and you know, this four years later, they are all looking very, very nice right here. The video here doesn't do them any justice. They look so much better in person and the fins are also very, very wide, and very tall. This is my hand here compared to that fish right there. And they are all used to my hand right here. They don't run away anything. They think my hand has like food. I always hand feed these guys right here and they are not afraid of my hand at all and I can I can show you guys how you know they would come and they would like eat right off my hand here speaking of food um, this is how I store my food and uh, this is the color flakes and uh, I keep them in here just because it helps preserve the food any food that is exposed to air gets oxidized and the nutritional value decreases so I put it in here um, this is airtight even though they are sealed within this um, container here the container is just like you twist it off but um, it doesn't do a good job of keeping the food like um, preserved so it's sealed off as tight as it can be and then this is kind of like a secondary measure to help preserve the food even more being airtight and not allowing air to oxidize the fish food here and i feed exclusively the tetra mins here i'm gonna go ahead and grab a handful here and i've done this with them ever since they were young fish and so they are very used to eating right from my hand they'll go ahead and just take the food and peck my hand and peck the food and they're not afraid of me you know if i do that to any other fish here they would um, <laughs> definitely not come up to my hand here so that's one thing about these guys that are really nice there's a glittered one right there you guys can see the glitter on him or her which is really nice the glitter trait is really rare on angel fishes and uh, not all of these angel fish here has the glitter trait there's one or two of them in there that has the glitter trait like this guy right here he doesn't have the glitter trait although very nice finage but doesn't have the glitter trait same with that guy and the glitter only shows up at certain angle it doesn't show up all the time it's different from pearl scale pearl scale is actually a gene that um shows something that's similar to glitter but not exactly glitter but anyways we're gonna move on from this tank here all right so we're gonna go down here down here are my two double 55 breeders that are stacked on top of each other here some of these fishes i do have for sale and i will let you guys know which one are for sale these are my koi babies from bloodline from angels plus and i'm gonna show you a clip of how they look like before i make my selection of how much they are all right so this is the 55 gallon right here and uh this is the current fishes that are living in here these are the kois the baby kois from angel plus bloodline there's too many of them in here and there's some deformity on here that i want to get rid of kind of like this guy right here as you guys can see his body is messed up so i'm gonna go ahead and do some quality control right now like that and I went ahead and caught all the angel fish in here and I'm gonna showcase you guys how they look like right now and uh, these are all of the ones that are good and these are all the ones that are bad 
and I just select for the best finish for now. Right now, color doesn't really show up that well, so I'm just gonna be banking on these guys over here. And it's a good amount in here, it's exactly as I expected. And these guys over here will be going to their forever home over there with my two flyer cichlids. The other guys over here will be going back into their home in here. There you guys go. Still a good amount of them in here. As you guys can see, it's about probably close to 80 or so in here. I want to say 80, 70, around that amount. I haven't done a head count yet, but we'll see how these guys turn out as they age. Right now, they're still pretty small and dainty. About pea size, a little bit bigger than pea size right now. But yeah, there's definitely some of them in there that has some color. I'm like, dang, these guys are going to look really nice when they grow up. But don't know how the other is going to turn out. So right now, they're all just chilling in here. And right now, this is how they look like. They've grown a little bit here. Um, this is a week after I made this selection. So they've grown a little bit more than before. And I don't know how the qualities of these guys are going to turn out to be in terms of high coverage seems to be like all over the place but at this stage right here they are some that are very promising like this guy right here he has some red on the dorsal fin there and that's what I'm going to be breeding for red on the dorsals to have full body and finnage coverage that's my breeding goal here and the parents are over here the parents are doing still pretty well the, they are maintaining colors and everything but anyways i'm gonna go down here another fish from angels plus these are the albino dantums and they're doing pretty well they came in uh probably they're the size of a dot between dime and nickel size closer towards nickel size if i can make them come over here i can show you their size compared to the coins that i have here but Right now they're probably all spooked now. <laughs> they're a little bit bigger than quarter size right now. Let's see if I can uh, try to make them come over here. All right, we're gonna try to entice them a little bit with the food here to see if they will jump up and get closer to the quarter there for comparison. But yeah, as you guys can see there, the quarter's right there and that's their size right now. Definitely bigger than quarter size, that's for sure. There we go, now they're all up and active. Yeah, for sure they're bigger than quarter size now, so they've grown quite a bit. Grown pretty good in, in the uh, 55 gallon here. They're looking very nice. Their fins are just absolutely stunning, absolutely perfect for me. And looking forward to breeding these guys in the future, hopefully. There's at least a pair for me. <laughs> I mean, you know, obviously there will be a pair, but what are my luck? Over here are the Bulgarian green pair. I think these two are a really nice pair here. Um, the male doesn't eat the eggs or anything. And so with the female, she doesn't eat the eggs or anything. And uh, I think these two has a very good potential of doing parent raising. You know, if given their own tank, I'm pretty sure 100% they would learn how to parent raise. These two pair are still pretty young pair here, and they are diligently taking care of the eggs here. The snail will go onto the slate, and they will go and pick up the snails and drop them off and everything. So, yeah, if you guys are interested in these pair, let me know. These guys are, <laughs> I'm not going to charge you guys like a thousand dollars for them or whatever, you know, but, you know, a decent amount just because I, uh, brought these guys up raised them up and select for the best ones and uh, this pair right here is the best pair that I can produce for myself and also for you guys so I'm just asking 250 for this pair right here these this is a confirmed pair 100% you guys will get um, eggs from these guys see that the angel right there is pecking the little snails there trying to get rid of it yeah, but very nice pair here as you guys can see very nice shape compared to um, some other uh, Bulgarian greens that I have seen here and these two are 
25% wild Santa Isabel here. Yeah, they're taking care of the eggs really, really well, very diligently. And for sure, these eggs will definitely 100% hatch. And um, they, they, look at that fertilization rate on there. It's been two days already. And there's only two specks on there. And the female is definitely picking on the speck, taking care of the eggs there. So, <laughs> very successful fertilization rate from the male here. Very fertile male. And, you know, he's fertile because of the wild bloodline that he has with him. All right, we're gonna move on with the tank up here. Up here is the tank that, the tank stand that I built myself. And this is a 40 breeder. This is a 40 breeder as well. And this is a 100 oceanic tank, a very ancient tank that you guys would not be able to find anywhere else anymore. <laughs> they don't make them anymore. This is the pair that I showed you guys earlier, mom and dad. They're constantly breeding all the time just like any other pair that I have and uh, yeah they're doing pretty well so far they got three batches and uh, the babies one of them is in here the other one are split between there and the third one is that one which I will show you guys in a bit they're really happy in their home here even though they are sharing with the uh, the other fish that are over here in this middle section right here I have this pair right here and uh, you know they are breeding and doing well eating and everything so they are very happy this is my female over here she is a sister of the female right here that is breeding it's like breeding season or something these guys are constantly breeding and uh, yeah this is the female and uh, this is the male right here, the one that's chasing after us here. So the black fish that you guys are seeing right now, he is a combination of four different bloodlines coming together. Originally, um, the two fish came from Thailand and Singapore. This so they were imported, they were bred together, and then I add in the blue gene into this bloodline right here, and I cross this bloodline with the Lincoln Fong. His fin is just perfect. Besides the pectoral fin, I'm still working on that. I'm not sure what happened during the <laughs> during the gene combination. It might be a um, non-compliance genetic makeup or whatever. But the babies of uh, the brother that this guy made, uh, the the pectoral fins, they're the invisible fins, as you guys can see. It, it it has been fixed, so that's just there temporarily, definitely for sure. But he has very very good fins. Over here, this guy is a stunner. This is the um, pearl scale gene that I was talking about. And this is the only Bulgarian pearl scale that I have. These are, this is the brother to the, to those two down there. And uh, same batch and everything, but this one has a very nice white fin. Look at that, that's absolutely stunning. This guy's a keeper. This female right here is another bloodline of the Bulgarian green. She's actually a lilac point. There's multiple names of calling these guys uh, the blue Bulgarian green or the lilac point. Basically, they're, the genetics for this lady is single dose with dark gene, double dose Philippine blue, and double dose Bulgarian green gene. She is, no, this one's 25% Santa Isabel. This one over here is just a regular domestic. So hoping to cross the two different bloodlines together. This is actually an experiment that I'm working on right now. Um, the I crossed the parent of these two together to create babies. I'll do a quick snapshot here for you guys to check out. These are the babies of the two parents of the two separate bloodline that I combined together. This one right here is the baby of the two different bloodlines coming together. I've combined the parents together to see how the babies will turn out first, to see how it is. And then uh, this is the less refined version of the two bloodlines coming together. This guy is a seal point. Let's see if he's willing to cooperate here. This is how he looks like. Yeah, there we go, and now he's turning. So this is two different bloodline coming together, uh, unrefined bloodline coming together. But anyways, um, I'm gonna go ahead and put these two 
bloodline together this is the more refined version and as you guys can see the finage there is much wider um, from different from the two different bloodlines so I selected the two that has the widest fins that has a black gene to come together to create some Bulgarian seal points um, babies in the future so we'll see how the babies of these two come together um, th like I said the more refined bloodline non-refined bloodline coming together so definitely a good experiment for me to try out all right over here this is my fireman's cichlid um, <laughs> these two used to be switched um, they were opposite of each other the male from here jumped over there and chase this guy he bumped his head there's a scar on his head right there if you guys can see on the left hand side there he uh this guy chased this guy out of here this guy came into here and uh this guy and the female was fighting really bad and the female ate eggs he didn't fertilize it a female ran over here so i'm like well maybe that's how they want to live so you know they like their seclusion over here compared to the open space over here so i just let them as is right now um as you guys can see it's it's not really that secure because these guys are really strong and powerful and they just pretty much bash through the other side but yeah that's the story of them right now all right guys thanks for watching my video all the way to this part here i truly appreciate it this marks the halfway point of my fish room tour in my second video here, I'm going to have some of the fish that are available for sale. So if you guys are interested in that, go ahead and watch part two. Until then, I'll see you guys on the next one.